right there boys and girls it's time for us to read our story and today we're finishing up our insect unit we talked a little bit about bugs last time and you all might have been looking for some bugs around your neighborhood and your backyard or some bug toys that you have today I don't have a lot of bug stuff but I have a, a bumblebee shirt I wore my bumblebee necklace and even some little earrings Bumblebees might be my favorite bug. <laughs> now, our book today isn't about bumblebees. It's about a caterpillar. It's called Percival the Plain Little Caterpillar, and it's illustrated by Helen Bronley. And we can look, though. There might be other bugs in this book other than the caterpillar, so we'll have to look. What about on the cover? Can we see any other bugs on the cover of the story so far? Let's see. I think I see some ladybugs and some spiders. We'll keep our eyes out for bugs as we look through the story. All righty. Percival Caterpillar was munching on some lovely green leaves one morning. So many good things are green, he said happily. I'm glad I'm green, croaked Frederick Frog, puffing out his chest. Green is great. It's a pity that you're so plain instead. Is that very nice of Frederick Frog to say to Percival? So Percival had just said how much he liked green, and then Frederick said, well, too bad you're so plain. That probably hurt his feelings. Lucy Ladybug was sitting on a rose, having tea with her sisters. Do you see all the ladybugs? Green is good, but how about red, she said. The ladybug sisters were all bright and shiny red, and Percival thought they looked beautiful. But I'm not green or red. I'm just Percival, the plain little caterpillar, said Percival sadly. Dennis Dragonfly darted down from the sky, his wings whirring. What a brilliant blue you are, said Percival. Dennis was so pleased, he whizzed around the garden three times very fast. But Percival was still sad. He wished he was blue too. So here's, per here's Percival, and he's talking over here to Dennis the dragonfly. And the dragonfly, that's an insect. And he is a pretty blue. I like the pictures in this book. They made a lot of them pretty and sparkly. The ladybugs over here, they were insects. They're sparkly and now our dragonfly. Something pink, pink and pointed flicked out from under the flowers. It was Lizzie Lizard poking her tongue out at the ants. You're not plain, said Percival. Your tongue is so bright pink, just like a flower. Now, is Lizzie, is, is Lizzie the lizard an insect? Nope. So on this page, we see a, a spider. Is that a spider or an ant? Oh, it's an ant. So there's an ant here, and these are the ants that she was poking her tongue out at. <laughs> Percival's an insect, and the ladybugs are insects. That's nothing, said Lizzie, and she crawled out from under the flowers to warm herself in the sun. Look at this. Her back was covered in pretty purple patterns that sparkled in the sunlight. Lizzie was pink and purple. Percival felt even plainer. Wow, so look at that. Very fancy. Percival doesn't feel that special. He's not sparkly and have a bunch of colors. 
Bella Bumblebee buzzed along, bumbling into every flower she met. Bella was a bright, sunny yellow. Flowers of every color are nice, she said. All colors are lovely. So there's Bella. She's pretty and sparkly too. Is Bella an insect? She is. Percival thought so too. He wrapped himself in his cocoon and fell asleep dreaming of colors. So here's Percival. Percival curled up there in that leaf. And you can see those little threads if you look really closely. See those threads around him? That's the way he started building his cocoon. And Bella had said that every color is lovely. And Percival's dreaming about that. Dreaming about all the colors. Percival slept for a very long time. He dreamed of green and red and blue and pink and purple and yellow. And when he woke up, Something wonderful had happened. Percival was a beautiful butterfly. His wings glittered with gorgeous colors. And no one ever said he was plain again. Oh, wow, look at Percival now. He's got all the colors that he was seeing in his friends. He's got blue and red and purple and yellow and pink and green. So let's see, what are the insects on this page? So a butterfly, a butterfly is an insect too. After the caterpillar changes, here's some ladybugs, they were insects. What about the frog, is he an insect? No. And what about the lizard? No. How about the dragonfly? Yep. What about the bumblebee? Mm -hmm. And there's an ant. Very good. Well, I think that's that. Well, I have had so much fun with you this year doing preschool with you while you were at home and I was at home and doing it on our computers. I've really enjoyed the time that I've had with you. I'm going to miss you guys and you all have a great summer and keep learning, keep reading, read with your grown-ups and practice some of the things that we've talked about while we've been doing school on our computers and I love you guys. Bye-bye.